So this is our answer for the septic system. It is a Rhino tote tank. It's a portable RV waste tank kit. Towable by our ATV, easily dumped right up our hill in our septic system. So it has everything that we need in order to dump it and take care of it. And look at this. It is made in the USA. This is the reason we bought this tank because it is the only one that we could find that came with a tow bar. And this is really heavy duty. It's our bag of goodies. Oh, look, it's see-through. So they have all the stuff that you could possibly need. Hmm. That's it. Nice heavy duty tires. No flat tires is what those are, right? I wish this was on there all the time. We'll, we'll yeah, that's the only fail, right? But it's because for us, we need it. Other people don't. Oh yeah, look at that. That's no good. That's terrible. So the trailer back is not high enough for the wastewater tank to drain into here. This is very, very high. It's like 12 to 14 inches high. There's no pitch down. So we have to dig a little bit, if we can, to make an area that's low. Now, this we can do this because this is our property. But if you were at a campground, I don't think you could do this. And where we are is nothing but rock. And here, yeah, it's just rock city. That's just a mess. It needs to be low. Definitely three or four more inches lower would be ideal, maybe more. Those rocks, and that's not all of them, came out of that hole where the tank is. So tell me what the problem was and what you had to do here, Rich. Rocks and roots. <laughs> and it was too high for drainage. So I dug sort of a, you could see, quite a bit of a hole to put it in so I'll have the proper pitch to get it out of there. And then what we're gonna have to do is make a little ramp of dirt, you know, continue to dig up. And we'll pull it up and out, straight out this way with the ATV. Onto the trail, up to the septic. So, one thing to know if you want this septic tank is the, the tank outlet valve has to be 14 inches, at least, above ground level. We'll spare you the gory details, but we're draining the tank. Wow, it literally like tips the whole thing. Oh, you just hit the stump with it. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. That off. Totally take that off, we don't need it. Dragging it with the ATV is way too low for that. So we noticed that the front little stand drags in the dirt. The hitch on the ATV isn't quite high enough to keep it far enough above the ground when it's uneven terrain. And we get this little line left behind. So this little stand that they have on the front for keeping it balanced and level really does not work well for towing behind an ATV. It just leaves these ruts in the road and gets held up, snagged on everything because the ATV hitch is just a little too low for it. And we decided we don't need it. So we're gonna just take it off. It'll just make the handle closer to the ground. Uh, if you do decide to keep it on, just know that it came loose. And we've tightened it a few times, but it still shakes loose. And you might wanna just add a little Loctite to hold it in place. requires an Allen key to get it off. Yeah. All right. And it has two little parts. So we're going to leave this plate on, I think. Okay. Because that could rest on a rock, right? 
Yeah. We have to keep it level. The only problem is the screws are too long. Mm. I'll have to get some washers. Yeah, this is an Allen wrench, but this little screwdriver kind of works. So we're going to keep that plate on. It'll stay on there for now. For now. But oh. that came off because it just did not work with the low height of the trailer hitch on the ATV. Probably okay if it was on the back of the truck because it would be that much higher. Now you got a lot of pitch, which is good. But now, yeah, now there's a lot more pitch down, which will, I guess, help with drainage from the trailer. Yeah, it'll help fit in the hole that we had to dig a little better. Yeah, okay. Still worth it. And for us, we chose the 15-gallon model. We have a very small black water tank in our trailer, about nine gallons, I think it is. Yeah. And a small gray water. But this is heavy to pull when it's full. It's really heavy. So we had thought about going larger, but we're really glad that we didn't. It requires us to go moving it a lot more, unfortunately. But it's heavy, right? Yeah, nobody likes to do this job. <laughs> no, but it works. And with these little bit, you know, these little modifications, which really aren't modifications that we had to make, we had to dig a hole yep. to get it low enough. We had to take the little front bar off because it was dragging on the dirt with the ATV. Um, anything else we had to do? No, right? No, nope, fine. That's it. So it was really, for our purposes, worth every penny. We're glad we didn't go really large. That's where it sits, right there. And it sits down in that little hole and connects to our wastewater tank. Which is now clean. Yay! So, definitely the Rhino tote tank, worth every penny. Highly recommend. What about you? Yeah, I give it two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.